So many times I've sat on this train and thought to myself about how the screeching of the train sounds like a blood-curdling scream. Honestly, it scares the shit out of me, every time. I really ought to start bringing headphones so I can listen to music. And yet, I love to hear the train sounds and the things people say. Oh shit, the old man said. I left my phone at home. I left my wallet at home. I left my sense of self at home. I left my wife and kids in the parking lot. I left the only life that I once knew at home, and I'm never going to come back. I left my parents for dead with a vicious murderer who killed and ate them, and then he called me to tell me that my mother was especially delicious, but I never would have guessed because I'm not a cannibal. I left my horse in the stable, although that's where he belongs. I left my rights. I left my wrongs. I left my dignity in the last town I abandoned with my other wife and kids who I will never see again because they aren't real. None of this is real. To me, I think. I left my ability to feel back in Susquehanna. I left my glasses at home so now I can't see anything. Actually, I don't need glasses. I'm fully blind. What am I saying? I left my headphones at the beach. I hope they don't get destroyed in the rain. I left my best friend on the train tracks and watched him die. I left my socks tucked in the pockets of my shorts. Not sure why. I left my wife. I left my wife. She is gone now. Both wives, actually. Gone. I left my finger on the button that makes the bad things come out at night. I left the house and then left my wife. I left my Twitter on Tinder for about a month now. Then again, it was just a joke. I left my sense of control in the room behind the house that isn't connected. I guess people call that a shed. I just took the chainsaw and started destroying everything because I just couldn't take it anymore. 